I would say that this is the number one app for shooters. If you're not using this and you're not using any form of app to manage your dope, you're missing out. So I got back from the range and I was shooting four different rifles in one range session, which was absolute chaos. I went super early in the morning and I had four benches next to each other and I was literally shooting a group with one rifle, moving to the next rifle, shooting a group, breaking in a barrel, zeroing another scope. So it was all <laughs> round chaos. Now as a result of that, behind me, you'll see from Dasher, 30 Sherman Mag, 300 PRC, 6.5 PRC, I did a whole bunch of shooting. Now, I didn't record this episode for us because I just had a lot of work to do. It was like a Tuesday morning and I needed to get through it before this sort of Cape Town summer heat came. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna use some apps during this process and why don't I make a video and share with you guys what are my favorite apps that I like to use as a long range shooter, apps that can help us, you know, become better shooters and all of these are free, so enjoy. Right, app number one is an app that I've actually done a specific video on. In fact, two of these apps I've done a video on. App number one is gonna be, and this is ranked in no particular order, but this is an app that is extremely useful for me to track and manage my barrel life. It also does a few other things. The app is called the IBI Barrel Life app. And basically the first thing that I do is when I come back from the range, I have a system and I systematically, as I take the cases that have been fired and I put them sort of into their bin system that I've also done a video on, I track in the app how many rounds that I shoot on which day on which rifle. And what that allows me to do is manage that rifle's barrel over time and sort of be aware of the fact that I'm ending or nearing the end of a barrel's, you know, usable lifetime that I can order my next barrel and sort of not be stuck in a situation where I've shot out a barrel and it takes me a year to replace the barrel because it's quite a process here in South Africa. The other thing that the app also does really well, it allows me to manage cleaning intervals. So if I know I need to clean my rifle roughly every 300 rounds, otherwise it's prone to a carbon ring as an example, or some serious copper fouling, you can actually mark in there when you've cleaned a rifle. It is super cool for that. Another feature it does is as a backup, I've got all of my load data in. I'm gonna give you guys an example data here. Do not use this data, it's completely thumb sucked. But just to show you, you know, because I have right behind you here, this is my little Croxley notebook that I've written every single load that I've ever shot in. Don't make dirty jokes. But all of my precision rifle loads and everything is in there. And at the back, what I used to do also in this, I used to physically write down every single time I went shooting, I would write down the date, the cartridge, how many rounds I shot, and that's how I used to track my barrel life. And I still write down all of my loads and the final loads that I use for if the app goes down or whatever and I need a backup, you know, it's that old two is one, one is none type of situation. But the IBI Barrel Life app is extremely useful. It's 100% free and you can check it down below. And as a side note, I've been shooting the IBI barrels on all of my rifles for the past couple of years and they're absolutely laser. Now, if you're busy shopping for your next barrel, seriously consider IBI barrels. As I said, I've had phenomenal luck, all of the barrels, absolutely hammer. Now, on our next example, this app is called Sub MOA. There is also a Sub MOA Pro version. Again, the free version is gonna do a hell of a lot for you. And what that basically allows us to do, it allows us to take a picture of our target image Okay, and then put in a size reference and I'll show you guys an overlay of how to do that on the side of the thing here. And let's use this Dasher group that I shot. It's a little three round group. And as I said, I was just quickly zeroing my rifle and I got it on paper over here and then I shot the group. So if I put in the reference on the app and said from the top of the sticker to the bottom of the sticker, it's precisely one inch. Then I can change the bullet diameter to a six millimeter bullet hole and then I can mark out where my actual bullet holes are. And if I hit this little paper icon over here, it's actually gonna give me a breakdown of that group, show me how much up dial I need or how much across I need to come. It's a super handy app. And what that allows you to do, it's a nice little thing you can screenshot, print it out, stick it in your load book if you really want to, or just it's a nice way to sort of manage loads for different rifles and see sort of how your rifle has progressed and how your shooting has progressed potentially if you're doing some drills on paper and those kind of things. So I really like that app. As a bonus, you can also send those screenshots to your friends and absolutely dunk on them with your tiny groups. And obviously we're not sending our big groups to our friends because we never shoot bigger groups, do we? Now, our last app is an app called Strolock, and I've done a complete video on how to set up this app. I would say that this 
is the number one app for shooters. If you're not using this and you're not using any form of app to manage your dope, you're missing out. Download Strelok, again, there's a pro version. I have found you can do a hell of a lot with the free version. At the end of this video, I'm gonna link a video as to how to set up the app. It's gonna do absolutely wonders for you. And what it allows you to do is set up your rifle's profile that you can start making longer range engagements. Now, if you're a new shooter, this is almost like unlocking a superpower. When people see me go to the range, and it's people that aren't sort of veterans in the shooting community, and we can put rounds on steel with the first round at 600 odd meters, it absolutely blows their mind. And this app allows you to do that. Now, remember, with great power comes great responsibility. If you're a new shooter and you've just figured out how your bullet drop works by using any form of ballistic app, please don't go out and start shooting animals at extreme distance. That requires an incredible amount of knowledge about environmental conditions, you know, how winds travel through terrain. So just because you can hit steel at extended ranges, if you're new to this, please respect the animals that we hunt and don't take risky shots on animals. I shoot a ton and I don't like shooting animals far because there's just so many factors that are out of our control. I used to not have a chronograph for the longest time and I was reloading and everything and I never knew how fast my muzzle velocity was. What you can also do with the Strolock app is you can reverse engineer your muzzle velocity. So how you would do that is you'd put a target out, let's say at 500 yards, you'd shoot at it and keep adjusting your scope until you start hitting the target. Then you can put that information into Strolock and hit calculate MV, which is calculate muzzle velocity and that's going to give you let's say for example even you're shooting factory you know storeboard ammunition that's going to give you the exact or not the exact but it's going to give you a very close muzzle velocity for your rifle which you can then apply to the app and take that distance out a little bit further you could also do that to calculate the actual ballistic coefficient of your bullet remember these figures that manufacturers post on the boxes for us the muzzle velocity and the bc for that matter that is all like an average. It's gonna differ from different riflings, different length barrels, different environmental conditions, you know, what speed you're shooting said bullet at due to your barrel length. So there's a lot of factors. So this tool kind of allows you to adjust that a little bit, which is super, super handy. Now guys, those are my top three apps. I still use stuff like the Kestrel Applied Ballistics. I've actually recently switched back. This came yesterday. Um, from Amazon. If you're looking to pick one of those up, I will have a link in the bio. This is the creme de la creme when it comes to ballistic solvers. This gives you wind. It's a hell of a step up from a free app on your phone, but it comes at a premium. Again, you can have a lot of fun if you're just plinking out there, but for us competition match shooters, this is quite a nice tool to have. Now, I've recently picked up this and what I like to do with, even with my previous case is I would have Strolock as a backup. Same thing with the little paper notebook and the IBI app. If for whatever reason your battery on sort of a ballistic weather meter like this goes down, you still have that information on your phone. And it has in fact saved me in the past because we all know if you own one of these things, the battery on this is like playing Russian roulette. One day it'll be a hundred, You'll turn it off between stages. The next time you fire it up, it'll say it's got 20% battery life. So it's pretty much just a guessing game. So yeah, having a backup is super handy. Also in some other news, you guys would have seen, this is Gertha, I named her. <laughs> it's like Bertha, but she's a thick girl. So we've got her there. She's currently in an LSS Gen 2 XL chassis. It's a really nice chassis, but the problem is the magazine length. These 30 Sherman rounds, wow, that's an exaggeration. These 30 Sherman rounds are like, they're quite hefty. In fact, let me grab one here. This is what they look like. Focus on my hand, there we go. So it's a beefy boy. And the problem is on the LSS Gen 2, I cannot seat the bullet long enough to feed it out the magazine. So I'm making a change. I'm gonna pull her out of this and drop her in a CIP ACC chassis. I'm gonna weight the thing all the way through, put a night vision hood on. It's gonna be black on black. It's gonna be super slick. So I'm gonna, next time you see her, she will be transformed. Again, as always, I wanna thank MDT for being such a great partner of the channel. Fun story about that chassis. I bought that chassis from the original MDT dealer here in South Africa, or the importer. 
And this is going to be our Afrikaans word of the day. The guy was a complete scallop, okay, which is he's a thief. He was lying to his customers. Lots of people gave him money. They never got their chassis, and he eventually disappeared, okay. Then the new distributor took over. It's now wonderful. So if you shop on my store, impactproshop.net, we've got you covered. And if we don't have it, just send us an email, info at impactproshop.net, and we'll get you taken care of. For the American guys, or anybody who wants to buy from our store. If you're struggling to make payments or anything, we do PayPal, we do we, we can take care of you. Anyway, long story short, that chassis arrived now in 2023 after I bought it in 2020 or 2019 and it wasn't shipped. It was long story short, MDT took care of it and now it's here and it's perfect timing. So we can put Gertha in a more fitting chassis. I hope you enjoy these apps. If I missed any apps, there are some apps that will do similar stuff like the group size tracking. There's many different options there. These are just the ones that work for me. But please let me know in the comments down below if you use any apps that we can obviously take advantage of. And then last but not least, I guess, is YouTube because on YouTube, there's a lot of great information. My channel being one of them, I hope I see your comments so I know you guys find value in that. Now, as promised, over here is the video on how to set up your Ballistic app. I am planning on remaking this shortly, so chances are this is the updated version already. But if not, you can also check out the IBI Barrel Life app over here. And then as always, guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the notification bells turned on. It really helps us a ton. Leave a like and a comment. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye.